Hello again. I was just thinking about confirmation and uh, what had happened when I was confirmed many years ago. My aunt, who was dying of cancer at the time, uh, took one last trip to uh, a lake that she in particularly enjoyed. And on the way, she stopped at a religious goods store and she bought me a confirmation gift. And that confirmation gift was a statue of Mary. I still have, I think I still have that. I had it for a long time, but I think it's still at home. Um, that reminds me that, uh, first of all, those waiting, awaiting confirmation here at St. John's, uh, we'll get that date to you as soon as we find out uh, when we can have uh, a larger celebrations. And so, uh, hold on, uh, it'll be coming. Also, this Statue of Mary reminds me that uh, May is the month of Mary, and many times, many places, we've had uh, the crowning of Mary, and the May crowning. And that always reminds us of how important Mary is to all of us, and that we continue to ask her intercession. The Pope and the Archbishop both they had services last week asking the Blessed Mother for her intercession to uh, end this pandemic, to bring us through it so that we may once again continue to enjoy uh, our lives uh, without all of the restrictions that we have now. Mary is our mother, and we continue to pray the rosary, and we are asked to especially do that now for the end of the pandemic. Also coming up is uh, El Dia de las Madres, the Mother's Day, and always there's that relationship between uh, our mothers and Mary, the mother of Jesus, and our mother, and we have that examples of love and concern and protection uh, from our own mothers and therefore also of Mary as the mother of the Lord and as our mother too. So happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there and we wish that everyone continue to honor the Blessed Mother uh, as the mother of the church, the mother, our mother, each and every person. Have a great day, uh, continue to pray as we pray for you, and take care. See you next week. Bye now.